the most detailed law in the Quran is divorce. Nowadays, people have made a joke out of this and said, talak, 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 talak. What you gonna do now? And then two hours later, I didn't mean it. It didn't count. Let's go find a mufti. Right? Because we made a joke out of the... By the way, is, isn't that making the ayat of Allah a joke? It is, right? And you know what's even crazier? This is, I don't know if this is just Pakistanis or what, but a lot of people have told me, oh, it doesn't count unless you say it three times. Who told you? That? What book are you reading? Did you, are you learning Islam from a comic book? This new short series is based on the findings of Dr. Saqib Hussain in his PhD thesis, Wisdom in the Quran, which was summarized and presented by Ustad Norman in front of a live audience. The link to the full paper is in the description. Now, um, this is now our final section, and this is where we're going to spend quite a bit of time. I, I explained already to you the difference between law and wisdom in the last session, right? Law is black and white, and wisdom is kind of situation by situation. But now, we have to combine the two of them. We have to actually look at the two of them together. You might not know this, but the laws in the Qur'an, the one law in the Qur'an that is talked about in more detail than any other law, and I'm not talking about worship, I'm talking about a law that has people, people's dealings, mu'amalat. The most detailed law in the Qur'an is divorce. There's no law that Allah talks about in more detail in the entire Qur'an that he does about divorce. If somebody asks the question, what does the Qur'an say about a happy marriage? There's like two ayahs. And then if you ask, what's the Qur'an say about divorce? There are several pages and then a surah on top of that and then other references. Why? And the Qur'an is silent on relationship advice. Except very little. This is the ayah of Surah Al-Rum, is the ayah every... Um, um, some, some little bit of hints in the ayat of Ramadan. It's bits and pieces here and there. But the majority, when you talk about divorce, oh my God. You know why? It's as if, it's as if, and I, I, here's the principle, Allah teaches you what you couldn't possibly learn yourself or know yourself. Which means Allah knows that you know how to have a good relationship. You don't need some outside help to figure out how to have a good marriage. But what you don't know how to do is to have a peaceful divorce. That you don't know. You know how to keep things good, but you don't know how to handle the situation when things go bad. That you couldn't figure out yourself. There I will give you exhaustive explanation. And so Allah gives exhaustive explanation about what should happen when somebody's getting divorced. How that should, and the thing is, these are, you can call them the laws of divorce. So this part of the Quran is kitab, isn't it? It's kitab. We're going to look at a little bit of that. I mean, we can't go through all of that because it's huge. It's a very big subject. But I'm going to show you just a, one small sampling of it. At-talaqu marratan. This is not a full-on tafsir, it's very brief commentary, okay? When a man and a woman are married, then a man can pronounce his divorce and still be able to take her back twice. That can happen at two occasions, two separate occasions. Nowadays, people have made a joke out of this and said, talak, 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 talak. what are you going to do now? And then two hours later, I didn't mean it. It didn't count. Let's go find a mufti. Right? Because we made a joke out of the... By the way, is, isn't that making the ayat of Allah a joke? It is, right? And you know what's even crazier? This is, I don't know if this is just Pakistanis or what, but a lot of people have told me, oh, it doesn't count unless you say it three times. Who told you? That? What book are you reading? Did you, are you learning Islam from a comic book? This is psychosis. Allah says, revocable, reversible divorce can happen on two occasions. You can end the marriage that it's still reversible on Two occasions. Then he says, listen carefully. Then after that happens, any one of those, he says, I divorce you. And then he thinks about it, they think about it, they talk about it. And he says, you know what, let's try again. 
He says, then take back, hold on to the marriage, but hold on to it with decency. Hold on to it with dignity, with decent, with goodness. Now, holding on to it with goodness, let me ask you, does that sound like law or wisdom? Immediately after the law, Allah switched over to what? Wisdom. Because I cannot check if I'm taking back for good intention in a good way or not. That's not something the law can judge. Not, not directly. Or let go beautifully. He says, let go what? Beautifully. Quran is saying that. Quran is saying that. You know when divorce happens, it gets really ugly, right? And now Allah is telling you, listen, you don't know how to handle the situation. I'm telling you, do everything you can to let go in a way that is beautiful. And what happens a lot of times is one person fears Allah and says, I want to let go in a way that's beautiful. The other one says, <laughs> let me see how I'll show you beautiful. Right? Then he says, it is not knowledge talking to the men. He says, it's not halal for you. You're not allowed to take anything back that you gave to them. If you gave her a car, if you gave her a ring, if you gave her a necklace, if you bought her a PS5, right? Because you bought yourself a PS5 for Eid, but you said, this is your Eid present. So officially you made it her Eid present. I'm just playing it so it doesn't go kharab, you know? I'm just keeping it. <laughs> if you gave it to her, Allah says, it's not halal for you to take back anything that you had given to them. Okay? Then, إِلَّا أَنْ يَخَافَ أَنْ لَا يُقِيمَ حُدُودَ اللَّهِ Unless they're both scared that they're not going to be able to abide by the laws of Allah. This is going to be a longer discussion, so I won't go into details here. فَإِنْ خِفْتُمْ أَنْ لَا يُقِيمَ حُدُودَ اللَّهِ And if you're afraid that they both cannot abide by the law of Allah, فَلَا جُلَاهَ عَلَيْهِمَا فِي مَفْدَدَتْ بِهِ Then there's no harm on either of them if she gives up some part of what she owed. Basically, the bottom line here, I'm being very brief here for now, is she wants to end the marriage, for example, but he doesn't want to let go. And she says, you know what? Keep the PS5. Can you just let me go? I just, I don't want to stay. Just keep the PS5. Allah says there's no harm if she gives up something that's actually hers, but she says, maybe that'll make the departure easy for me. Okay? So she's kind of almost like paying a ransom in this situation a little bit. So he says, that, okay, he's not making her do it, but he's saying if that's what gets you away from the situation, it's no harm if you try to do that. That's halal for you. Because he already said it's not halal to take anything, right? But now he says, by the way, but if you think giving something up will let him go easy, then just do that. Okay, fim after that be. Tilka hududullahi fala ta'aduha. Those are the limits set by Allah. Don't cross them. Wa man yata'adda hududullah. And whoever crosses the limits set by Allah, fa ulaika humul valimun. Then those are the people that have done wrong. Now, fa in talakaha. But if a third time he divorced her again, so two have already been mentioned. This is which time? Third time. Fala tahillu lahu min ba'du. She is no longer permissible for him. They can't be together immediately. That that's it's not possible. Thereafter, until she gets married to someone other than him. So she, she can't be with him anymore. Zubair is done. Sorry, Zubair is just an example. Zubair is done. She moved on with her life. Five months later, she got married to Kareem. Sorry, Kareem. Okay. And then she married Kareem, and Kareem turned out that he uh, likes Xbox, he doesn't like the PS5. Something happened. They, 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 they didn't work out. And now she got divorced again. Okay. Now she got divorced and she sent a text message to uh, Zubair and said, Hey, uh, what you doing? And Zubair says, Why, why are you texting? Aren't you married? No, not anymore. <laughs> and so Zubair says, Okay. Let's try this again. Then it's okay. It's okay for you to go back to him if you got married to someone else and then it didn't work out for a lady that's being told. Otherwise, the man is not allowed. By the way, what could be the wisdom? What's the hikmah behind that? Well, if a man says to a woman, I don't want you. I divorce you. Okay, okay, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Then she comes back two months later. You think I want you? I don't want you. Get out of here. 
kicks her out again, then takes her back. The third time, you don't get to yo-yo with this woman. The third time, it's done. Now you must experience the pain of knowing that she was with someone else because you didn't value her. So if you really want her back, Allah is going to have her live her life. And if that doesn't work out and she still wants you, decides that she wants you back, then maybe you can get back together. Otherwise, you guys are done. I hope you guys enjoyed that video clip. My team and I have been working tirelessly to try to create as many resources for Muslims to give them first steps in understanding the Qur'an all the way to the point where they can have a deep, profound understanding of the Qur'an. We are students of the Qur'an ourselves and we want you to be students of the Qur'an alongside us. Join us for this journey on BayinaTV.com where thousands of hours of work have already been put in and don't be intimidated, it's step by step by step so you can make learning the Qur'an a part of your lifestyle. There's lots of stuff available on YouTube but it's all over the place. If you want an organized approach to studying the Qur'an beginning to end for yourself, your kids, your family and even among peers, that would be the way to go. Sign up for BayinaTV.com.